Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Block Bowl once again. I'm playing here with the anonymous Anorexus against a dwarf team. And fucking A do I hate dwarfs. Anyway, um let's see if this will turn out as horrible as I think it will. I get to kick. And we're off. Now looking at Oh, I get perfect defense. Wow. That means I can do it like that. Um, looking at his team, he has um, he has two guard blockers and a plus movement on his runner, where the ball decides to land right in front of him. Okay. Did I? Oh no, I didn't. I just thought I put my uh, dirty player on the line there. Okay, so he's going for a uh, dauntless, and it worked, um, but not without a reroll. So that's good. So let's see if he can uh, form some... He, mm, yeah, he can form a cage down here, can't he? Oh, maybe not now. But saying that, I don't have much of a cage breaking potential. Um, can I in any way reach that? I can put a tackle stone on it. I could, uh, if I can block these guys away, I might be able to blitz his. Um, his dude, this guy, this thing. Um, so let's see if that is possible. Um, doesn't look much like it. But still, if I can get a tackle zone, uh, at least he will blitz with no block. Hmm, is that any good? Can I push this guy off and blitz him off the field? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then off. I might be able to. But we require a tackle zone here and a tackle zone there. And for this guy to go away. That well, can be done. It might be worth it. I'm going to go here get a three die block and leave that skeleton over there to his destiny. Uh, unfortunate I don't knock him down and I do I just want him here I don't want him to be hitting my um, my tomb guardian. Okay I get the 
push. But it's still a GFI to get him off, so. No. Okay. But at least uh, he can't get an assist easily over to this side, but he's very. Uh, I'm letting him do whatever he wants to on this side. Um. But I should be able to stop him. I have two free Tomb Guardians to move over there. And these guys should be able to handle themselves over here. I might be able to surf both these guys uh, next turn with these four players. Okay. So let's see if he gets hold of the ball this time. That's a dead, um, what's it called? Thingy magic. Throw rock. Hmm. Well, he gets out of the ball and moves in a more secure location. I can actually reach him. Um, um do I wanna do a one die block? A one die blitz. Uh no, probably not, but I do want to place a player on him. Um I'm going to attempt a blitz on this guy anyway. I really need guard as soon as possible. Um, now to get that guy out of the way, I will need a tackle zone here. It's the only place I can place one. Um, I don't want to make that into a three dive block. So let's get this guy gone. Do I want to stand next to him? Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, but this guy has guard though. 
So let's put him up there. Okay, so we get him away. Now, if I want to blitz that guy off the field, I'm going to do with number seven, move number one down here. So he has to go there. I really, um, I am scared of a run through. He does have additional uh, movement, but if he has to use a blitz on that guy, then he can't easily make a cage if these two guys are standing here. I could move my Tomb Guardian in number seven's place, but not only would that have to wait till after I've done the blitz, obviously, but also it wouldn't protect my. Uh, my other Tomb Guardian. If I move here, he can get a Sackle Stone here and knock down my Tomb Guardian. And if I can avoid it, I will. So this will have to do. And get him off the pitch. Sadly, no casualty. Now a reroll here is probably worth it. Not only can I get um does he have a guard player nearby? No. And he doesn't have no then I'm not going to. And no. He can run down here. Um but I think making a cage is going to be somewhat difficult unless he blitzes a Tomb Guardian, which he where he can do. No, he can't because he has to blitz number eight or dodge. So that is fine by me. Okay, so he stands up his number three as well, and I will surf that if I can get to it. However, with that move, I might have to reprioritize. Um, and move down to pitch instead. Now, if I put this player here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he can reach the entire field. Um, so I'm going to do that, and actually, I'm going to stand the skeleton up, only to keep his tomb, his uh, what's the what's this called, guy, his troll slayer there. Um. I'm going to do a sacrificial skeleton on this guy. And let's move. What's that going to have him, have him open? The Tomb Guardian. 
That was dumb. I needed that space to move. Uh, other players. Oh well. Um. I'm going to leave my blitzer there and move my throw bar down. I will blitz with this Tomb Guardian and move him onto the ball carrier. And place the player as far away from my skeleton as possible uh, so he can't give assists to it. Now I'm tying up these players so that will have to be a one die block if he wants to do that. And I'm okay with that. Um, so right now he's hard pressed for assists and I do have a reroll and I do want to hit his uh, armor value 8 player. And I do want to tie him up. Um, and I do need my Tomb Guardians closer. the one die blocks. Um, so he can now get the blitz in if you stand this guy up, gets the blitz on the tomb guardian. Um, but by tying up his troll slayer he can't move his blitzer very far. Um, and this means that he can't just run down and have some guys protecting his ball carry as well. Is he going to attempt another one die block on the skeleton? He might. But at least he's produced a very nice uh, screen now. Um, so I can't just knock his ball carrier down. And that's good. Okay. Now that changes a lot. If I can get an assist in on him, I will have to. It might require me to put down this player and this player, and then I might be able to get here. Um, you will have to stand up. Now the question is, do I want to sacrifice one of my blitzers for one of his? Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm a player up right now. Yeah, let's. I'm going to take. Take this player down, use an assist. And keep his uh, blitzer occupied. Now I'm going to need an assist somewhere for this block to work. Um, and I can place a skeleton here just fine. Okay, he falls down. I can go there fine as I need to go this route anyway. Um Let's move 
Do I want to block stuff first? No, this is more important. Let's take some GFIs. Okay, snake eyes. Oh, he's out of rerolls, though. Um, so that might happen. And it's even a badly hurt, which I'm very happy for. Okay. I have to get another assist up there now. Um, which can come from this skeleton if I knock this guy down and this. However, I'm going to move this Tomb Guardian. You can go here, so let's go here. Okay. Good. Man, these dice are ruthless. Well, at least I have block on my throw rail. And he falls down. Now I don't want to follow up into these players and luckily the ball lands right there okay let's keep that guy there now since I don't have any rerolls um, if I fall over with this player and these guys have block he can fairly easily either blitz a guy into the ball or blitz my ball carry away, run take the ball, and then I might be in trouble. Um, also, if I just push him, they'd be onto the ball carrier. Um, it's a one and nine. I'm actually uh, no, and I don't want to free up these guys either. It's number seven or number eight, so I'm not going to block with him. Just stopping him from scoring is uh, enough of a win uh, in this half. I will try to score, of course, um, but in this scenario, I'm not going to take a one and nine when I don't have to. And as you see, me not taking a one and nine meant that he had to take a one and six. Um, so he had to roll worse dice than me. Okay. Now I need to blitz that guy away and take the ball. However, if I stand here and blitz here, it'll be a um if I and then if I then get Oh, but if I get block, he's standing there anyway. Uh, no, but mm, I need that guy down. Okay, I can do that. I can stand here. Move. Yeah. Move here and here. Three die block his uh, runner. Put it in a tackle zone. Do I want to follow up? 
Um. Yeah. Now I need to um, have this player fall down for me to pick up the ball. And he does. Well, the reason why I moved is that this player is nicely tucked in now, instead of being open to dodge. Um, and now since this player is the only one of three agility and able to reach me easily, I'm actually going to run this way. Oh, there's this guy as well. Why don't pick up the ball? He manages to do what I could not. And he attempts the throw. Okay. So now I'm not going to be able to score unless I do a handoff or a throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So I'm going to go here. And I will need to. I'm certainly going to push this guy off the field. Let's um, stand this guy up. And no. I don't want to block this guy really because if I get him on to attack a zone, I can't blitz my throw are free. Um, that's good. Sadly, no injury. Um, I'm going to do this blitz. It's only a push. Let's have him down here. Ah, oh, shit, that guy has guard. Forgot about that. Okay, so I want to be here. I don't want to be next to his guard player. Um, and I can just move a to Tardian up here next turn to send him off. Um, question is, do I want to try the pass straight away? On a 6 plus, no. So let's try and pick up the ball. No. So my chances are looking fairly slim right now. I mm, I might be able to. Can I mm, block this guy away and get a blitz on the second? Hmm. On the one I don't knock down with my tomb guardian. He might just go for the one die blitz. It could have been a two die blitz if he had done it with this guard player. And then moved up blitz with the other one. Oh, 
and then move him up uh, and hit him with number 11 no? okay and fumble the ball so now I actually have a chance of scoring however this is too tempting to not do first as this is very unlikely to work. Still no casualty. I need him away from the ball. Okay. Um yeah, whatever. So pick up. Now I can either do two GFIs or do a throw. The throw isn't going to work, basically. The two GFIs is... Are they more likely to work? Maybe not a lot. I do have pass. Um, and the two GFIs can injure my player and I don't want that. Uh, do I want to do these blocks first? Nah, not really. Let's go for the throw. I want to take one GFI and make it a 4 plus. What am I supposed to take two? Pass or GFIs? Fuck it. Let's win. Holy crap. I am awesome. <laughs>